Well, the pool resurfacing project started today. It looks rough. Man, you really don't know how bad everything looks until it start getting torn apart. But it's going to look really good when everything is done. But I'm about to hop down in here in a few minutes and show you guys what we have going on. But over here on the hot tub, we're doing all glass tiles all the way around double road mosaic tiles there. And then all around the perimeter we're doing six by six tiles that are not glass, they're porcelain, but they have texture on them and they're really shiny and they look like glass. And to be honest with you, it saved about a thousand dollars by not doing the perimeter in glass, which it'll make the focal point pop. Now here on the steps, we're doing diamonds for markers and we're not doing a lot of them. It's just going to be just like a couple markers here and there. We're getting new covers, a whole new light. We're doing an LED changing light where it changes colors and does like little shows and stuff. So yeah, that ought to be fun. What a mess. But I guess it's gotta look like this until it can look better. Man, let me get my pineapple thermometer he's just hanging out down here gotta rescue him can't leave him down here in all the construction stay tuned because uh this project here is about eh, a week-long project or four or five days and here's what we got today the pool has been swept out has been power washed. The tile is going on tomorrow and you can see how bad the surface was getting. You can see the concrete marks, more concrete marks and it gets worse over here. But you can see where it was starting to be exposed. So it's only a matter of time before the pool started leaking. But we're excited. We're excited to see how everything comes out and how the tile looks tomorrow. And as far as the tile goes, we got this tile here is a porcelain tile, six by six, and that's going to go got the texture and the glossy surface. It's not glass, it is porcelain, but it's the six by six tiles that's going to go all around this perimeter. And then right here, we're gonna have rows of glass mosaic tile, which I'm gonna show you those here in a second. And that is going to be these tiles, which it has brown in it, white, blue, it's gonna look really pretty. But all of these tiles are going to go right there as the focal point on the jacuzzi. And these tiles will be kind of butting up next to it on the border, which will look something like that. So it kind of makes the glass tiles pop. All right. And the tile, some of it's up. The border is up, looks good. The border in the hot tub's not done, but the glass tile is up, looks good. All of the grout is going to be white. So that way it kind of pops, but I'm gonna get down in here, see what we got. Looks good. Looks really good. It's coming along really nice. And then up in here, this this is the old tile, so you can see a comparison between what the new tile and the old tile looks like. 
this old tile here is coming out and then it's going to be this glass tile ran through there. So that's gonna look really good. Just pulled the light, got all the cord, it's a 100 foot cord, but it goes all the way over there. Here's the old light. Looking terrible. But we got the new LED light. Tile looks great. Give you a little close up. Probably another day or two worth of work. But it's coming along good. And she's alive. All right, it is raining, but the pool is resurfaced. We have the diamond tiles on the step and obviously the hot tub is starting to get some water in it. Oh yeah, I'll have to pull that out, I guess but the pool is starting to get filled up. Looks pretty good. Got some diamonds down there, but this is what it looks like. Looks good, got the light in there. And it is the next morning and the pool looks really good. The pool needs to be, or the water level needs to be halfway up the tile. Let's see what we got. It's halfway up the tile. So, it is time to fill the jacuzzi. And this came out looking nice. So, let me go ahead and move this hose. Came home really quick to shut the water off because the pool is about to overflow, but everything looks good. The resurfacing is done. Got the new diamond tiles here. Got the new six by six tiles on the border. Did glass tiles over here on the hot tub. And again, got the six by six tiles on the back. This piece here, the spillway, I'm still waiting for the granite company to make it, but I went with a white spillover that has like silver speckles in it. But it's going to look good when it's installed and finished. But that's how it turned out. Pretty happy. And this is what the finished product looks like. I think it came out really good. Got the diamonds on the steps. The pool is that nice, pretty blue, light blue color. I think the glass tiles look really nice with the standard six by six tiles that kind of go around the border. They definitely pop and it definitely is the focal point as you walk outside and look at the pool. But we are really happy with how everything turned out. Huge difference from what the pool looked like. And in the hot tub, Obviously there's still some remnants of the pool resurfacing that, you know, we have to brush out period periodically as we uh, clean the pool. But the spillway that we went with, I know it's hard to see, but it's a quartz and it actually has silver flakes in it. And when the sun hits it just right, it shines. We got new lights in the hot tub. We got new LED lighting down there. And we will show what it looks like at night. So this is the pool at night. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights on. So here is I guess one of the light shows, it's really, really slow. I think it goes from like blue to purple to red. And to be honest with you, I don't know, really know what other colors it goes to. We're really happy with everything. We think it turned out really good. The company did a great job on the pool. 
did a phenomenal job, actually. Uh, the pictures and video really don't do it justice. But as you keep flicking the light switch, you're going to get a different color or a different light show. And it goes in a sequential order, but I don't know what the order is exactly. It's on the instructions manual, but we just kind of flick the light until we find one that we actually like. But we're really happy with everything and um, definitely don't regret doing it. It needed to be done, but it was well worth every penny.